Welcome back, fellas, into this new video of Tech Express. Today, I'm going to be showing you a very easy way how to uh, record only the audio into OBS in less than uh, three minutes with a few recommendations in order to continue. So, um, basically, for example, here, first, you want to make sure you are only recording the audio you want. So, if you focus directly into the sources, what you can do is to make sure that we select the element that says the plus tab. In this source box, I remove any existing video source like the screen capture or the camera and want the video canvas completely empty. So next you want to check your audio mixer and if you only want to record your microphone, mute the desktop audio and on the other unnecessarily tracks. So here, for example, if I select the PC and disable this element, you will no longer see absolutely anything. I enable this once again and you can be seeing this now once more. So you want to of course to disable the PC and just focus for the option that says audio element. Now into the right section you can see that we have the desktop of the audio. And down here we have the actual, in this case we are using an actual microphone that is connected via an audio uh, interface. So you want to take that in mind in order to recall those elements, right? So. If you go to the file, select the option that says settings. If you click into this option that says the output, here into the output you wanted to make sure that at the top of the output setting, change the output mode from simple to advanced. So here, for example, into the advanced, what you need to do is to unlock the settings that you actually need. So you focus for the option that says record element here for um, we have these elements this is in Spanish, for example, this is we can be changing this from the custom output. Uh, we can change this from quicktime.mob to FFMPEG, allowing you to manually set the output format. So into the file path or the URL box, you can type into the exact file path where you wanted to save the recording. So make sure to enter the file name with the extension .mp3, for example. So to disable the video and to finalizing, under the FFMPE, uh, MPEG settings, we need to disable the video. So into the video encoder drop down, select disable encoder. This uh, will be telling OVS not to process any video data. For the audio encoder, you select double AC like this and 3204 high quality audio. So click into apply, off to the safety settings and start recording. OVS is now recording only the audio source you selected in the file will be saved directly as a clean MP3. Once you finish with all of this specific elements, you go for the option that says apply and accept. And just like that, your element will be right away generated. So that's it. You can use the custom output FFMPEG, choose MP3 as your container and disable the video encoder. Now for additional support, what I can be to totally suggesting you is that when you have now generated, for example, this kind of elements, what you can do, let's say for example, that I have CapCut for editing my stuff. I am gonna be opening my editor, which in this case would be CapCut. I'm going to focus for a new video and what I'm going to be doing here is to import an actual element that I have just generated with, uh, when in this case, OVS. So when you import uh, an actual video, you can click right click in here and you can separate the audio and keep the actual voice that I'm selecting around here. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to be keeping uh, both the video and the audio, but in the different uh, files, which is going to be really, really useful when you're going to be making this kind of addition. But still, if you are um, aiming to convert video to audio files, you can do this manually and you can do this online just by going directly into, for example, Google Chrome. And let's go video to audio convert. And there we go. There's an actual free converter totally for free. Select your video, choose your actual file up to one gigabyte and you're actually good to go. So this is a very easy tutorial guys of how we can actually do this process in a very easy way with OBS. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how we can get started with this kind of tools directly into OBS and so much more. 
So thank you once again for watching and hopefully you can all see you next time.